Hey, what's going on? If you want to get a complete system that makes melting fat easy and is 100% automated, then I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of your page right now. Um, YouTube doesn't let me make that link clickable, so you're gonna actually gonna have to type it into your browser. Or I also put a the copy of the link in the description, so you can click on that or type it into your browser. All right. For now, enjoy the video, and after you're done with this video, make sure to go to that link to get a complete fat melting system. So knowing those little tips uh, about eating food and eating uh, certain types of food is really going to take you to the next level. For example, right now we're going to teach you about carbohydrates and there's, there's, different, there's different mindsets and, and thoughts on you know, carbs are bad and carbs are good and what carbs are bad. Uh, but we're going to give you those little tips uh, about which carbs to eat and it's really going to take you to the next level. Because the difference from you know, losing one pound a day and losing five pounds a week um, is very small. And, and we're talking about you know, eating you know, this kind of bread and that kind of bread and eating this kind of pasta and that kind of pasta. And that's going to be a difference you know, in your calorie intake, how you feel, how you look, and uh, the progress you make. Yeah, and like every, everything else, every other macronutrient, whether it's fats or proteins or carbs, which is what we're going to talk about in this video, there's a spectrum to it, right? So there's the ideally what you want to do, and then you can get progressively worse. So we're going to give you exactly the best decision to make possible for the carbohydrates, and then if you really want to melt fat as fast as possible, you obviously would make all the decisions closer to the good side of the spectrum, and obviously stay away from... Uh, the bad spectrum. So carbs, like fats, there's um, uh, different kinds of carbs. Uh, the, the, you know, there's, there's really a, a bunch of different classifications, but we don't want to get too technical on it. So we're really just going to break up carbs to simple or complex carbs. Now, the difference between uh, simple and complex carbs is how fast they get digested by your body and turn into sugar. Right? So simple carbs are really quickly turning into sugar. Uh, your body um, you know, can use them for energy instantly. The simple sugars, things like you know, just normal sugar that you would have in a candy bar, or sugar that you would have from um, just you know baking a cake or whatever. Uh, that sugar, your body can instantly turn into sugar, and it gets processed and into your bloodstream very, very quickly. So what happens when you eat simple sugars is that insulin gets released, and insulin is the hormone that takes uh, the sugar and actually transfers it to your fat cells. Is that that's actually what makes you fat. That's why sugar makes you fat because it spikes insulin and it actually, um, you know, transfers all those calories, all those things you ate, and stores them as fat in your fat cells. So, what are some things uh, we can do to um, stop that insulin spike? I mean, the biggest thing is to stop eating those simple, those simple uh, carbohydrates. You know, the simple carbs, like Alex said, they spike and then they're processed immediately and they go into your system really quick. But they pretty much they come and go the same. You know, they come quick and they leave quick. And you know, it's a result of you know your your real high followed by a really really quick low, uh, followed by that you don't want that low anymore and you want to eat the same thing or you want to eat you know those simple sugars again, those simple carbohydrates, so you can spike back up and then you're up and down all day, um, and you never have that you know that constant feel good uh, body. Yeah. So the biggest thing is one of the top ways that we eat those those simple carbs is to stay away from white sugar. We want to stay away from you know every, pretty much if it's white it's bad. We want to stay from away from the white bread, the white pastas, um, white sugar, and just anything that says you know simple sugar. You want to stay away from it. Anything that that is high on the glycemic index. Exactly. Right? So I don't know if you've uh, you probably heard of glycemic index before. If not, it's just pretty much it's it's a it's a scale of how quickly a certain food gets turned into sugar. And remember, the faster it gets turned into sugar, the more your insulin is going to spike. Because insulin is actually what balances your blood sugar and uh, stabilizes it so you don't die. That's why diabetics actually got to inject insulin because they stop producing insulin from eating so much sugar, uh, type 2 diabetes that is. So what we want to do is eat foods that are low on the glycemic index, that they're not going to spike your blood sugar, they're not going to spike your insulin, and they're going to give you uh, stable energy. So what are some, some foods like that, Jake? Foods like that, and these are very, very important to remember. Down below, we're going to give you a big list of them. But some of the foods uh, are the whole wheat, a bread, whole wheat pasta, uh, quinoa. It's like a little sure. grain. You can get that a lot of your local uh, food stores. How do you pronounce that? Uh, quinoa. 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 Quinoa, yeah. He always makes fun of me. I don't say it right. Uh, and uh, barley, things like that. Uh, wheat berries. Sweet potatoes are really good. It's my favorite ones. Sweet potatoes is very good. All those things are awesome, and, and it's just about making those little changes. For example, you know, instead of eating that, that, that white bread sandwich, you just change it to wheat. And now you're going to have a lot smoother day, a lot smoother energy. And this is also very important uh, for athletes or anything that you have to do athletic. 
you know, people think sometimes you, you, know, you want to take a, a big spoonful of honey right before you compete. And all it does is give you, you know, that first five seconds high followed by immediate drop. You want to have, you know, our complex carbohydrates that are going to get you up on the energy and stay there, you know, so we can compete at a high level all the time. So, you know, for me, for example, I can't, I have to make sure that I'm always eating these complex carbs, you know, especially when I'm going to have a hard training session. The next hey, what's going on? If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a huge favor and click on the like button below. Uh, you'll get your good deed for the day out of the way. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Also, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. Something as simple as good video or I enjoyed the video. Uh, it really helps me out with YouTube. All right, here's the rest of the video. Next day or that day so I can keep my energy and uh, feel good throughout the whole day and, and never have that drop you know, before, during, or, or after practice or competition. Yeah, so um, really being able to keep your carbs pretty low uh, it's going to allow you to use fat for fuel. Exactly, yeah. So we don't want to keep them too low to the point your body still needs a good amount of carbs and uh, for all kinds of things, especially you know high, high quality carbs. But we want to get your body in a state of ketosis. And we already have systems in this program. Yeah, so can you explain ketosis? <laughs> so, so ketosis is just when your body starts using fat for fuel. Right? When there's no more carbs in your body, there's no more glycogen in your muscle. You know, glycogen is uh, energy stored in your muscles. When there's no more glycogen and there's no more carbs, your body starts using your stored fat for energy, and that's called ketosis. And during the program, you, you've already gone through the videos where we recommend doing the 12-hour rule, which is, a little recap, is uh, 12 hours from dinner to breakfast. So if you eat dinner at 10 p.m., you don't have breakfast till 10 a.m. So it's just 12-hour gap between dinner and breakfast. And then we also recommended that morning walk first thing while you're still in that fast so that you use your um, stored fat for energy instead of any carbs throughout the day. From that morning walk, when you're fasting, you can literally burn more fat than if you have a big meal and then go, go run 18 miles full intensity at the gym. And, you know? and if you notice, we're slowly accumulating all these little things, you know, uh, our, our nighttime ritual, our morning ritual, and, and our, our, our eating ritual, three meals, three snacks, and now uh, we're like focusing on eating even more on how to eat. And all these little things are, are adding up and we're getting closer and closer and we're burning more and more fat every day to, we get to where we get to the point where we, we don't need to burn any more fat and we're lean and mean and you know, we have that, that automatic six pack where you want, where you're not even thinking about it, you're just eating properly and all these, all these things that we're doing are accumulating to stopping us from eating, like gaining fat. Exactly. And um, one thing, one cool metaphor that I, I like to think about carbs is some people think like you should be in ketosis all the time. Some people uh, don't think ketosis is such a good idea. Um, the, the way we want to think about this is a hybrid car, right? So a hybrid car uses either energy from the battery stored energy or gas, right? So I look at gas kind of like sugars, like carbs, where it's, it's used up quickly and you can go a lot faster uh, in the car. But the, the, the stored energy, and it's kind of like being in ketosis when you're using energy from the, from, from the battery. So during this program, we want you to, to be in both. And then when you're doing the 12 hour rule, that, that fast, and you're doing that morning walk, you're gonna be in ketosis. You're gonna be using energy, um, your stored fat for energy. And then, you know, after a workout, if you ever, you know, if you got uh, the, the advanced programs where we teach, you know, more intense uh, workout programs, that's when you would want to be using, you know, carbs for fuel. When you start doing very intense workouts or when you start doing like, like Jason does like MMA workouts where he's training for a fight, that's when you would want to switch to the, um, the carbs because you're going to be using glycogen for energy, which is, uh, allows you to move a lot quicker and it's good for things like sprints or just very high intense uh, workouts. So we want to turn you into a, a hybrid. You, you don't have to choose one or the other. You're going to be able to run on both. You know, when you're sipping on the, let's say you're sipping like I am right now on the Bulletproof Coffee, where this is pretty much pure fat. Right now, I'm entering like, a, I'm gonna enter a state of ketosis where uh, I'm using fat for energy and fat for fuel, and I'm not gonna be using, um, you know, sugars, because I'm, I'm not exercising, I'm just sitting here talking, so I don't really need any simple sugars right now to function. So the biggest thing that like we're always preaching is that you want to try to stay, stay as far away from processed food as possible. The processed foods are going to have um, a lot of the, the simple sugars, the white sugar. Uh, and a big thing is just being conscious, you know, glancing at that ingredients label. And when, when, you, when you're looking at, you know, your, your foods and you see the first ingredient is sugar, you know, a, a simple sugar, you really want to stay away from it. Especially 
High fructose corn syrup. Right? Exactly. High, high fructose corn syrup is, is horrible. All you're going to get is a, is an immediate spike followed by, you know, five minutes later, uh, a crazy downer. And, you know, you're never going to feel you know, great. You're never going to feel uh, consistently, you know, strong energy throughout the day. So these little tips are, are going to make the world of difference. Just, you know, switching white bread to uh, wheat bread and, you know, your, your, your white pasta to whole wheat pasta. And, and, and one of the reasons why wheat bread and, you know, wheat pasta are, are lower on the glycemic index and, and they don't spike your blood sugar so much is because they have fiber. Uh, maybe you, you've heard about fiber, <laughs> heard that fiber is healthy, but the reason why fiber is healthy is because it literally makes everything digest slower. So if, even if you have uh, you know, sugar with fiber, it's gonna digest a lot slower. Fiber kind of slows everything down. It doesn't allow your blood sugar to spike so quickly. So your body doesn't release that insulin, which is, again, insulin is that hormone that transfers uh, fat to your fat cells and stores it there. So really uptaking the, uptaking the amount of fiber that you uh, consume every day is gonna allow you to digest everything slower and not spike your insulin and store less fat. And speaking of fiber, one of the, one of the best uh, sources to get your good carbs from are fruit and veggies. And fruit and veggies have a lot of awesome, really good fiber in them. And on top of that, uh, you know, if you're a big juice drinker, you want to try to replace your juice with, you know, our fruits. So, if, you know, one glass of orange juice, a 12-ounce glass of orange juice has about twice as much sugar than a regular orange. And the orange has so much more fiber in it. So you're getting, you know, the best of both worlds from just eating that orange compared to uh, a glass of orange juice. And these days, you know, our, the orange juice they give us is usually full of, you know, uh, regular white sugar. So also on top of, you know, the little things we gave you, like the whole wheat pasta and, and what do you say, the, the quinoa? The quinoa. quinoa. Yeah, you want to replace uh, your carbs with fruit and veggies are a really good source as well. All right, so in this, you know, brief video about carbohydrates, obviously you, we can go into super details about carbohydrates. And, there's actually all these scientific names from it. You can learn the molecular structure of the different, you know, monosaccharides and saccharides and all these like super fancy names that you got to be a scientist and memorize. And, you know, you don't have to know any of that to get ripped. Uh, really, what we wanna, want you to know is that when you eat carbs that quickly get turned to sugar, your insulin gets spiked and insulin is what literally takes all the calories you eat and stores them in your fatty and your fat lipids, your fat cells. And that's why, you know, people get bellies and people get fat because of when insulin spike. So we want to reduce all the foods that spike insulin as much as possible and we want to be a hybrid. We want to use ketones and we want to also use simple sugars, especially if you're going to be doing intense exercises. But for the most part, if your main goal is to burn fat as, uh, as fast as possible, um, you want to be in ketosis by following the 12 hour rule and doing that morning walk that we already talked about before. Here's a little preview, there's a, a concept coming up inside the program that's all about drinks and really one of the biggest ways that people mess up is on drinks. They drink so much sugar whether it's from things like orange juice or even smoothies. I, talk, I told a story about my friend who would have a fruit smoothie before he went on hikes and did exercise where he was just trying to burn fat and he would just use all the sugar from the smoothie for energy instead of his stored fat. So one of the biggest ways people mess up is by using sugar for energy and, and they get most of their sugar from all these sugary drinks, whether it's Coke, orange juice, or even fruit smoothies. And we're gonna have an entire video on wh what our favorite drinks are that you know still taste delicious and they're not gonna give us a bunch of extra yeah. calories that spike our sugar. Exactly, how to prepare, uh, prepare these drinks, how to look for the proper drinks, you know, when you're, when you're shopping, and all the little tips on, on just like, you know, killing those, that, that, that little game changer of a drink that, you know, makes it so you get fatter while you're drinking it and you cut all that stuff out, you'll see a huge difference. Yeah, and also about alcohol, you know, we're not here to, to <laughs> tell you to never drink alcohol again. Everything, you know, one of the biggest concepts in this program is that everything's a spectrum, right? And even if you are going to drink alcohol, uh, you know, whenever you do, we don't recommend it, especially if you're trying to burn fat, alcohol is really horrible, it lowers your testosterone, does a million of bad things for you, dehydrates you, it's horrible for you, but if you are going to do it, you can make better decisions that are sure not going to mess you up, <laughs> hey, we'll show you how to, we'll show you how to drink, <laughs> we'll show you how to drink in a way that's not going to completely stall on and sabotage you, alright, so th that's it for this basic concept, there'll be another worksheet beneath this video, which will give you a summary, exactly what to follow, the key points, uh, so you really use carbs for fuel, and you use fats for fuel as well, you become that hybrid, and you stay away from those foods that spike your insulin. All right, have an awesome day, and we'll see you in the next video. A real quick, one more thing before you go. I wanna make sure you know that there is no correlation 
between how hard you work and how much fat you melt or how much muscle you build. All right? There's enough science, enough data out there that there's absolutely no correlation between hard work and results. All right? There's a difference between movement and achievement. All right? If you want to learn my best tips, what I call the 5% hacks that allow you to get maximum results, maximum fat loss, maximum lean muscle gain, I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of this page or you can click on the link in the description. All right, you're going to get a complete system for melting fat in an intelligent and streamlined system. I'll see you there.